Hey friends, it is April Holly Smith and it's time to have a look at our ads. I just want to say welcome to my channel. If you are interested in saving money with your grocery budget and finding a place where you know that you're paying a good price instead of just wondering that all the time, this is the channel for you. We look at our ads every week. We talk about what's on sale, um, why that sale price might be good or it might not be good and just give you in general shopping tips for your grocery shopping every week thanks for tuning in don't forget to like and subscribe right now so you stay on top of all your grocery needs all right so we are going to look at the aldi and save a lot ads we look at save a lot first here in general so save a lot has the wow six and that is supposed to be a wow sometimes it's a wow and sometimes it's not um this is not terribly bad now I do want to point out to you that it says a family pack here. Generally at my store that means that there's going to be three steaks in there. Um, and I point that out because family pack means different things with different products. So when it comes to a steak, any kind of steak, it's basically a three, pa uh, three pack for family. Now over here we have boneless skinless chicken breasts for $1.69. This also says a family pack, but here that means generally five pounds. Sometimes they're four and a half, but five is a nice round number. That's also typical uh, for the tray. So that means if you just multiply five times $1.69, you're looking for each tray to be about $8.40. So when I do my budget, for groceries or my list I put you know one chicken and that's gonna be times nine dollars so I know that's gonna be nine dollars that I've got budgeted for that so that's how I work it out and that's why I say what you should estimate this is because the other thing is is when you're making a list you know generally you're going with X amount of dollars and you want to know how much you can buy for that for those dollars that you have and if you don't know how much something is because this is kind of like a it doesn't really give you a good idea of what the the item that you're going to take to the cashier is going to be that's why i tell you what family pack generally means about five pounds and how to figure out what the general weight is obviously the trays are going to weigh a little bit more a little bit less budget nine dollars and you'll be good now over here this is a whole pork butt. So let's talk about this. I know it says B-U-T-T-S, but it is in fact not the rear end of the pig that you're consuming here. It's actually, um, on a horse you would call it the withers or the shoulders. Um, and it's called a butt because when it was packed in casks for transportation in the olden days on ships, so when it was in like a barrel crate, this cut would be put up against the barrel and then other cuts would be on the inside and it was the butt roast so it was butted up against the container so like I said fun fact it's the shoulder um, these are pretty big typically these are between 12 to 18 dollars in my um, in my store and when I unpack them they come in a big bag usually not like a like almost like ribs or shrink wrapped kind of a thing um, and I put the whole thing in my crock pot. It is, it shows it here as a, like a shredded, um, Mexican taco. Anything you would use shredded pork for, this is going to be good. So your pork tacos, your, um, pulled pork sandwiches. If you like, I don't know, any kind of shredded pork with, um, like say, um, like up on top of your pizza like that sort of thing all of those things work with this I like to cook it shred it and then put it in one pound or one and a half pound uh, Ziploc bags in my freezer because I like it the better that way I think it's just a more easy grab and go seedless watermelon not bad for three dollars right now um, strawberries too for four dollars eh. That's still $2 a pound. That's pretty high. Cantaloupes, this is not that great a deal. So there, these two things right here are the best in the WOW 6, just so that you know. Special buys are something specific to save a lot. And what is a special buy? Usually they are in green. Not always, but usually. They are very often 
a name brand. Sometimes they, you see the store brand Coburn Farms dairy products um, in this, but where they get an extra truckload, I don't know if they buy it on sale, if it's uh, an overstock. I don't know. I don't ask these questions, but I can tell you that most of the time it is not anything that's nearing its expiration date. It's absolutely brand new fresh food, but it's usually a uh, main, uh, a regular brand. So what I would recommend is look through your coupons. This is like almost, anyway, these, because sometimes you'll find a coupon for some of the things that are on special buy. And when you do, this price might not be like knocking your socks off. You might go, well, I can still get it cheaper at Aldi's. And that might be true. But if you have a 50 cents off or a dollar off coupon, save a does accept coupons on their name brand items. All of a sudden, that becomes a really good deal. So, whenever you have your special buys, I highly recommend you getting your coupons out. I know it's not going to be in this because this is all PNG, but I'm just saying have a look because there might be something that's really good in there for you that I can't see because your coupons don't match mine. Three for nine dollars, that makes these three dollars. That's not terrible. Two for four. I feel like these kind of come around all all the time. Now these these gallons of ice cream are pretty decent. That three fifty that's a reasonable price. It's not terrible. Um, on the inside, okay. So I, I've got some stuff to say. This entire inner 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 two pages. There is nothing on sale here. There is a big goose egg. Lots of stuff in here, but none of this stuff is on sale. It's all its regular price. So let's look here. It says, look, great, va new look, same great value. That phrase means regular price. So everything in here is the same stuff. If you were buying this, it's the same stuff with a different label. So don't feel like you need to buy a new bottle because it's something different that you haven't tried. Don't feel like you need to hurry up and buy it because it's not on sale. This is the regular price all the time. Just take it under advisement. Oh, so that's what that price is there at Save a Lot. Good to know. Move on with your life. Celebrate Labor Day here, this white section. So, um, again, every single thing is a regular price. None of these things are on sale. Not one. So same, same thing. Although I will say this two liter soda, they have a, um, a Dr. Pepper that is pretty, pretty decent. Uh, and it's cheap, but it's still a regular price. It's not on sale. So again, don't be in a hurry. Don't feel like you have to load up. It's all just be advised. And then what do we have here? Every day means regular price. That's what this means. There's like three different phrases here that all mean the same thing. Um, just know that's what they are. No, I, I just can't say anything like other than what I said about the, the red or the white section and the blue section. Same thing for the yellow. Just don't be in a hurry. Just be aware of it. Okay, so now there's a couple things that I will point out here. This 99 cent salad mix is actually cheaper than a whole head of regular iceberg lettuce. And it has like the, the purple cabbage and the, the um, carrots and stuff. It's actually a better deal than buying a whole head of lettuce, even though it is a more processed food. So I totally am into that. Um, just for fun fact, when you're camping in a pinch, uh, you bust the bag open and roll it down and put the salad on it and eat right out of it no dishes just saying it works if you're in a pinch um i really like to see these bratwursts under two dollars for a great sale these aren't on sale at all i'm just saying this is a good price this is not necessarily on sale this is not necessarily a good price this 80 percent lean ground beef uh now i want to say a couple things about this because number one it says it, it in tiny print right here it says it's sold in a two pound package, which means this is a $6 thing. 
it it fakes you out because you think, oh, I'll go get a pound. Because, you know, you can get a lot of, sometimes you can get a pound in a little, yeah, yeah, you cannot get the little tray here. This comes in a tube. If you're not a tube meat buyer, don't get it. That's totally up to you, but I don't want you to go in expecting to find some little trays with the clear tops. That's not what this is. There's nothing wrong with this in my opinion. It's fine, but some people really like the tray kind and some people really are okay with the kind in the chub or the tube. That's really up to you. Okay, so down here we have this green section. Again, these are special buys. This Triumph, I'm pretty sure, is a store brand. Um, but all the rest of these are um, regular brands. This Country Croc, I would check and see if there was a coupon for because, you know, if you're saving your coupons, these come around pretty often. Um, maybe even the Capri Sun because back to school time, this is more popular. This is like they want to get you in the habit of buying it, so they'll give you a coupon this time of year so that you'll buy it. Um, this, I will say, is a pretty decent deal. It's $1.49. These are Oscar Mayer. I buy these and they actually taste really good. They freeze super great, hold up really well. So the best things at Save-A-Lot are these two things right here. So that's where we're at for that. So I'm gonna get over to the Aldi's ad. Aldi's ad is the long format, which is my least favorite kind of ad, just saying. But right here, blueberries for $1.49 is a good price. Strawberries for $1.49, heck yeah, way better than the same save a lot ones right guys yes um now here this is the 73 percent ground beef and it comes in a five pound package and at least it does the math and tells you it's ten dollars for that um so i know it's the holiday it's a grill it's a grilling holiday this is not terrible all these does sell theirs in a tray with a clear top this is not going to come in a super giant chub like Sometimes you see at Walmart. Um, so I feel like for ten bucks you can either get the chicken breasts or you can get this or you can get one of those and one of, and one of those for grilling. Either way, it doesn't matter. It's all good. The seventy-three percent lean ground beef. I know sometimes people kind of turn their nose up at it because it's the fattier kind. Well, there's two things that you need to know. If you're grilling, they make a better hamburger because it's juicier. And if you're going to make meatloaf, especially if you're mixing it with a leaner, um, like a veal or a lamb, uh, that 73 will give you a juicier meatloaf um, that it, if you're mixing in breadcrumbs or rice or oatmeal, whatever your choice is, that, that mixer, that, that stuff that helps it stick together, there will be juice for that to absorb and it won't be as heavy as a, as a, um, leaner meatloaf so just saying that's what you would use this for there's a time and a place for everything when it comes to food a lot of it isn't so much that it's bad it's just knowing how to use it okay so right here this is whole boneless pork butts it is the same price as save a lot so if you don't have a save a lot you're not going to miss out on that deal and if you look they have pulled pork here with coleslaw it's the same thing with different sauce literally so what did I say even they're doing that um, Atlantic salmon that's okay uh, these chicken tenderloins okay okay OMG I have to talk about this must talk about this I'm gonna draw a picture I have strong strong feelings okay so these these tenderloins here since they come in a 2.7 pound average weight, so just about three pounds, so it's like six dollars for a tray. That's just simple math. Dollar ninety-nine round up to two, 2.75 round up to three, two times three is six. Okay, so here's what I want you to do. This is a no. Just say no. I want you to go to Save a Lot and buy these. Why do I want you to buy that? Let me draw you a picture. I know it's like with stained back. So. A chicken breast if you look it's a kind of like a V with a, a loop on the top and there's this piece that kind of comes down like this this part right here is the chicken tender and if they pull this little piece off they charge you a dollar ninety nine but if you buy the whole breast for a dollar sixty nine and pull it off you can have this 
and still have your chicken breast and it's still like 30 cents cheaper so if I were you I would buy this pull all the tenderloins off portion this out into meal size pork pra, uh, portions put those in the free or freezer same thing here just until you have however many pounds of that you want this part if you're not familiar what this cut of meat is raising canes if you have one of those the chicken finger restaurant all they use is tenderloins that's this that is this piece of of cut of meat here it comes from this piece and all you have to do you'll see there's like a little white fat line and if you cut down there or even if you just stick your finger in there and pull it apart it comes right off not even hard work um cantaloupe better price than it save a lot so the cantaloupe is a go here these red grapes anytime they're under a dollar they're an acceptably good go price for me I will tell you this though because if I don't say it out loud someone will comment and I do appreciate that you comment below um, so if I forget to ever say this you by all means say it it doesn't actually say they're seedless in the ad so you do need to check if you only want seedless grapes check the bag almost always they're seedless I don't think I've come across seeded ones too many times but double check it's something you should do this is a bad deal it's four for 250 just know this is okay, $2.89, I'd like to see it at the $2 mark, but you know, okay. Now here, Save Lot has Pepsi, three for nine, it's a better price here than the Coke products, but you know, I totally get, either you're a Coke person or you're a Pepsi person, there's not a lot of swinging back and forth. Sometimes like the secondary stuff like Sprite or Mountain Dew, you can kind of have whatever, but the, the diet and the regular, I know it's just, it's, it's it or that's that okay not going to talk about the flowers but everything down here is all regular price guys there is just nothing really that on sale i will tell you these restaurant style chips from clancy's that are 89 cents they're good they are real good um i approve i actually like the white rounds better than the restaurant style they're just the triangle kind so just be aware none of this stuff's on sale it's what it is all the time all right, so we're going to get on the inside here, and we're going to look at some stuff. There are some food things here, but really, I'm going to show it to you, but none of this stuff's on sale either. It's just things that they feel like are timely for you to see. None of this is on sale. I really want to see this under $2 um, for the uh, Italian sausage. If you look, it is cheaper at Aldi's than it is at Save a Lot, not by much. If I'm feeling like if you're going to one store or the other, get it at whichever one. It's, it's close enough. Um, down here, even their pizzas aren't really on sale. So, I, I don't know. Not that exciting. Now, down here, these, these Aldi finds, these are all a regular price, too. But they don't have them all the time. This uh, maple bacon coffee this comes around these two come around like in the fall just like they're gonna have pumpkin spiced soon if you have had either one of these maple bacon or bourbon typically what I'm told is they smell real good but they don't taste as good comment below if you've had either one of those and tell me about your experience with it so that we all know whether to get these or not one time I got some coffee that was freaking fantastic and I could never find it again like everybody knew that Okay, so over here, these are all non-food things. I'm not going to spend a ton of time, although I do have these for my towels in my bed. Oh, sorry, guys. I need to move it up, don't I? I do have these stacker guys for my towels in my bathroom, and they're fantastic. I did get some of these uh, in my kitchen. I feel like these look like they're taller than mine because mine go exactly like half in the shelf, and it's fantastic. It's like adding a whole nother shelf. And see how they have their 13 by 9 pan. That's exactly what I have up on the top of mine. That's so funny. Um, just gonna scoot it up. I don't know, just none of this stuff is, is in my market. I'm gonna fold this down and up. And then we have the bottom down here. Alright, so yeah, these are all things. I feel like a lot of this stuff is super duper expensive. $70 for a slipper bit chair 
uh, I feel like that's a regular price. That's not like I'm in a cheap Aldi price. This, however, this double sword or ironing board, if you have bought this, I want to know, is it, does it feel cheap to you? Did it break right away? I keep eyeballing that. I like, mama likes that. Okay, so we're going to look at the back, because there's food. <laughs> um, fresh baby back pork ribs. This is not a an amazing price. I usually like to see this at the $1.79 range, but they're fresh. So if you really like them, you can bring them home and put them in the refrigerator. If they say previously frozen, or I'm sorry, you can bring them home. Obviously, you can put them in your refrigerator, but you can put them in your freezer for later. Uh, but I feel like this is kind of like a everyday price. I don't feel like that's a great price. But it, a lot of grilling holidays, they come down to the $1.99 or $1.79 range, and that's my preference. Um, I'm looking at some of this stuff here. This is a regular price until the end of summer. These are all regular prices. I'm not seeing anything that is... Um... Alright, I want to know... Did you have, you tasted the blackberry cucumber? How, how goes that? Is that delicious? Because I kind of don't like the taste of the, this carbon water. Um, but these are not on sale. This stuff's not on sale. I'm going to flip this down. Like this, this Dakota's. What's your opinion of that? I'm curious. I love baked beans. I don't eat them because of the carbs, but I love them. Um, this is the same price I paid for these, uh, sandwiches this week so there's nothing um on sale here i will say though this brownie mix any kind of mix in a box you should never pay more than a dollar for but this is kind of what it is all the time so it's good to go also this this heavy duty aluminum foil it's good stuff i've actually been wrapping zucchini bread in it as i've been making it and it is far in a way a better than the regular stuff just saying so right here mostly the best deals are your produce items here um, this pork butts pretty decent price and your grapes so that is the wrap up for the ads this week I of course always have the questions about your ads I want to know right here this one right here is it ground beef for you and is it the same price so same product same price let us know and then your wow six are your wow six the same and are they the same price let me know because i'm totally curious about it all right so thanks for watching guys don't forget to like and subscribe comment down below we have a really wonderful supportive community that shares our pricing information and what is good and what is not a good price and sometimes when you read the comments you can really, really feel grateful about the prices for things where you are because, wow, especially when the Canadian people share their prices because, whew, it's different. But thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Comment below, and we'll see you later. Bye.